All right, let's start. All right, fuckers. <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? We're back. It's been a long break, but I'm happy to do another couples Q&A. Last one was just me. Everyone's asking to do a couples Q&A, so we're gonna do that today. I guess we're gonna just jump let's right into the into first it. question. Yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so the first question um, that we're gonna answer is the best way to balance spending time together and also keep up with the gym and the diet. Well, we both have like super similar interests, so it's not that hard. A lot of times we just cook and eat together, like we've been together the last what five days yeah and like a lot of our meals are, are like sort of the same so balancing the gym and the meals and things like that it's not like when i'm by myself i'm doing like really anything too different our diet and our daily habits are pretty similar so it's really not an issue for us thankfully i know a lot of people it's different but if you're in a relationship where you're, the person you're dating maybe doesn't understand what you're doing you gotta just talk about it mm -hmm. and uh, just say, hey, this is what I like to do, so just please like respect that. But for us, yeah, it's no problem. We, we do a lot of similar things. We eat, like, we both eat healthy, so. Yeah. And when we eat bad, we eat bad together, so it's no big deal. Yeah, I think just balancing your time right. If you know you have shit to do, like, during the day before you, like, go see your significant other, like, communicate that, get it done, yeah. and then go spend quality time with them. Okay. Would he still be with you if you turned into a worm? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I'd put you in like, I'd probably put you in like a little, um, I'd give you a little sanctuary so you'd be with me, but we, I can't date a worm. <laughs> so you're just going to date someone else? <laughs> <laughs> no. What can we do? We can't even talk. <laughs> but I'd give you like a little dirt hill you could chill on, you hang out with me. That's tough, but okay. <laughs> That's fair. We've gotten this question multiple times, and it's, how did we meet? You know, we've never really given, like, a full, yeah. deep dive into it. And this could take, like, ten minutes to explain, but we'll try to yeah. keep it concise. short. Right, so there was a house fire. <laughs> um, Kaylin was stuck inside, <laughs> and basically I saved your life. <laughs> no. So we're from the same, like, area, but he's a couple years older than me, so I never, like, really knew... I never really knew you, mm -hmm. you know? I saw your social media page, like, a few times. Your social mm -hmm. media page, your fucking Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, he's fine, but, yeah, that was that. Was that. Yeah. And then I saw you at one of these bars around here one night, and I was like, there he is. <laughs> this was in, like, 2019, right? That's when the pandemic happened? Or 2020? 2019, it happened. So it was, like, the end of 2019 or the beginning yeah. of 2020. It was summer 2020, yeah. So I saw him at the bar, didn't talk to him, but I did talk to his friend, and I was like, yo, your friend's fine, and then that was kind of that. Then we like Snapchat a bit, and then we were maybe gonna like hang out, but then it just, it didn't happen. And then a whole year goes by, then like I started getting close with people at the our gym, and then we just kind of like got into the same friend group. Yeah. This was, uh summer of 2021 and yeah we were just friends at that point you know yeah. then fall of last year we like started gaining mutual interest in each other we talked for a bit yeah it took us a long long time for us to like actually hang out for the first time together because like he was always at school i was like traveling a lot last year our schedules like never meshed ever until like the holidays mm -hmm. And then we like hung out. We started hanging out more yeah. and more and more, and then liked each other more and more and more. And then um, your birthday rolls around. Yeah. And you're like, I really want to like not be in Michigan for my birthday. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just like spontaneously booked a trip. We weren't even dating yet, but we spontaneously booked a trip to, to Texas. Yeah. yeah. So we went to Houston together, and then um, it was like her birthday trip. We went around to uh, like the different gyms, different places to eat, checked out Houston a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I asked you to be my girlfriend was in Houston. It was a good time though. Yeah. And we were like, I think we were both really nervous. We weren't sure 
relationships were like in the cards for us, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like not just with each other, just like in general. Yeah, based off like um, our goals we had and stuff, and our plans we had for the future. Mm-hmm. But then it just like I don't know. We just worked out really good. So it just made easy sense. Easy and genuine, and yeah, we mm-hmm. just have so much, so much in common. At the end of the day, it works. Don't piss <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, that's like the story behind it. Will you ever do a meet and greet for us Michiganders? We would love to, to be honest. I, I, we were talking with a couple Michigan-based coaches that are pretty big here. Yeah. We want to get something like figured out where we can get a ton of people together in a gym. Mm-hmm. We want to have like some sort of an event that we do, but we're about to move to Texas in like three weeks, but we're going to come back for the holidays and uh, multiple times a year. So when we come back, we want to do something fun Yeah. Um, where we can get everybody involved. Down south, like Texas, California, um, they're like fitness hubs, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on where people can meet their favorite influencers and things like that and kind of be a part of the community. Where in the Midwest, I feel like it's not like that yet. It'd be cool to like slowly start to develop something where mm-hmm. it's a little more popular here. I think eventually, yeah. I, I'm not sure when, though. Yeah. Building, building a little community would be fun. Mm-hmm. And just like, I don't know, like fitness has not become... Like, it's big, but it's just, like, so much more, like, I feel like just everybody wants to be in it now, you know? Yeah. But, like, it's cool to see, like, younger people really getting into the gym. Mm-hmm. Like, high schoolers. So, yeah, it'd be cool one yeah. day. Um, What was your first impression of each other? Well, obviously, I already <laughs> spoke on how I thought he was so fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, like, I never had, like, saw, like, anybody, like, from our area, like, ever compete. So I was like, oh, that's, like, cool. Like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I just remember, like, seeing that, and I was like, that's crazy. Like, I've never seen anybody do that. This was, like, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> My first impression of you was just that, like, you li- like you worked your ass off. Like, you, yeah. don't see, you don't see that a lot. You don't see a lot of people putting a lot of time and effort into, the, like, their health and how they eat and how they treat their body. Yeah. Like, every- everybody's just out here just binge drinking and, like, eating, like... Yeah. Shit. So I was impressed yeah. by that, and I guess that's my first impression. Then, okay. like, once I, like, actually would, like, see you at the gym, I don't know, you just scared me for some reason. You didn't scare me, I was just intimidated by you. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. My first impression, I, I really had no first impressions, to be honest, other than you were just cute, you know? I'm like, oh, shit, she's cute. But then, uh, when I saw you started going to, like, the gym we go to now, Frequently, you were like one of those people who legit <laughs> would put your hood over your head and like work out with a big baggy hoodie and just uh, especially during cardio. like not speak. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, whoa, that's weird. She just like didn't socialize, got to work, got in, got out, and it just made me so curious. I wanted to know more. <laughs> I'm like, she's either fighting demons or she's just really serious about this. But yeah, just my impression was just that you worked really hard. And there was this odd attraction to the fact that she wouldn't give me any attention. <laughs> she would like talk to my but friends deep and down not me. I was like, like, what the fuck is going on? Say that. How to be an amazing kisser. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Next one. How do you guys deal with arguments? It's so corny because it just seems so fake and I know social media is so fake, but we like genuinely don't argue. No. We don't argue. There's times where we've had like disagreements or something will like rub us the wrong way Mm -hmm. and we just like talk through it. It's that we don't like yell or do any like toxic things. There's no like weird games. We don't like ghost each other for days or like it's we just talk about it like almost immediately or whenever we're free. Express how we feel. Why it makes us feel a certain way. Yeah. And whoever's upset, the other person like we genuinely just listen, Mm -hmm. try to understand and then... We make amends, like, yo, sorry, I... Yeah. And then we uh, improve. Yeah, it's really... And any problem we've ever had, it's, like, never been a multiple... It doesn't happen over and over again because we, like, listen to each other. Yeah. So we don't, like, argue. It's, it's like, healthy. <laughs> like, we both, like, I think we both, when we got into this, like, we just knew that... We knew how to, like, just be grown and handle a relationship. And if yeah. you love someone you you make it work you make them feel seen you make them feel heard yeah because if you care about someone and you love someone you won't you would never treat them any other way you know Mm. and And it's so nice it's the best thing yeah like it's not even that we're like oh we're perfect and we're just never fighting like 
Like there's here and there, but yeah, we really not. don't. Like it's not like we're not there's in constant no... chaos and like yeah. distress. Like if you if you're a someone that like makes your stomach hurt all the time, like leave. <laughs> but also I think like when like what you said where we didn't really expect or didn't know if relationships were in the cards. I think we wouldn't be dating now if we weren't so sure that we were like both healthy. And like um, communicated well and things like that. I think if there was weird games and toxic shit from the jump, we would have just been out right away. Yeah. We didn't have any time for any games. Yeah. Neither of us did. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Next question is bodybuilding goal for the both of you. I want to just I want to compete and just see like where that will go from there. I don't have a. Mm-hmm. I'm not like. Like, I, I like bodybuilding. I love, I like watching it. I like supporting you. Mm-hmm. I think it's really cool. And I think I, if I do prep, I'm going to be like, okay, like, yeah, that was super rewarding. And I can do anything I put my mind to. Mm-hmm. So, honestly, just getting, doing a prep would be, like, good for me. It would, I don't know if I, like, really have it in me to be like, I'm going pro. Like, well, there's I, also, like, a lot of extra shit involved trying to go pro. So, it's like... Right, yeah, to. and I just don't know if I'm uh, willing to sacrifice some, some like, things. Your health. Health and, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, family and stuff is, like, really important to me. And I just foresee a lot of um, events and shit coming up in the future that could prevent me from, like, being a 100% bodybuilder. I, I totally, like, commend anyone that, like, fully commits to it but i'm yeah. not sure if i'm that person but to do it once will be good for me and we'll see where it goes from there sorry that was really long <laughs> I, I want to approach but i also wanted like i don't know i'm not like a huge rush i know going pro will be one thing like it's it's possible to do it in the next like 12 months maybe but as far as making it to like an olympia stage it's going to take a long time so and that's just an if, if I can win a pro show. So I'm willing to be patient about it. We'll see where life kind of takes me. I for sure want to go pro, but um, if I think I have the potential to be like great, great at the sport, then I'll keep going. If not, I'll probably dial it back a little bit, just depending, I guess, on how life's going and what's realistic. Okay, our next question is, are you guys moving to Houston together? No. No to Houston, but... We're going to Austin. Yeah, middle of October, we're going to be heading to Austin. Mm -hmm. It's been, like, a long time coming. Like, both of us have always wanted to move out of Michigan. Now we have, like, the means to, and we both really wanted to get out before winter. We're going to go for two months. We're doing, like, an Airbnb type of stay. We're going to, like, get familiar with the area, tour apartments. Mm -hmm. Um, We'll come back to Michigan for the holidays, and then we'll move into our place, like, our place. In mm-hmm. January. And honestly, it's thanks to, like, you guys. Yeah. To be honest, like, a lot of our income is based on um, the support from you mm-hmm. So. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're able to go bounce around the country, which is, like, unbelievable. And it's a blessing. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's going to be really good for us. And it's yeah. going to be good for, like, our careers as a whole. And if any of you live in Austin, give us, like, some good restaurant re- recommendations. Mm-hmm. Or... If you want to meet us, just let us know. Maybe we'll pop around yeah. different gyms and stuff. Because we want to check out different gyms. We don't know where we're going to like settle in at. So mm-hmm. let us know. The next question is, is do we have any pet peeves of each other? What I'm going to say isn't like something that like seriously like irritates me. Mm-hmm. I just like question why you do it. Okay. You want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> you just sit in your car for a really long time. Oh, sometimes. yeah. That's what pops in your head? <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a pet peeve though. I just like, I'm like, why? I, okay, this is why I do it. I'll explain it. <laughs> okay. So I get in my car, I sit down. I like always have a podcast playing and I'll be on one. I'll drive to the gym. I'll be on a podcast and then I won't be in the mood to listen to it anymore. So I have to like go through a bunch, pick one I like. I listen for a second. It usually starts with ads. I'm like waiting for it to load because our gym parking lot has no service. I'm trying to get through it. And it starts, I'm like, oh, this will be funny. Set it down, and I'm good to go. <laughs> it's not even, like, a pet peeve for me. Like, no, I, I know. Really, it's weird, I though. don't really have, like, something where I'm like, oh. Those Do you have peeves. any of these? Oh, I'm just perfect. <laughs> now I want to just really find one. 
No, I think, well, it's not even a pet peeve. Sometimes I think, I think I'm like Eeyore sometimes, or I'm really like tired or Mm -hmm. exhausted. And there's some times where you're like really high energy and I just feel like I can't match it. And it's not a pet peeve. It's like fun. And you honestly, you bring me up a little bit, but I'm like, fuck, I'm tired. (laughs) When was the last time? And you're like, "Mm, mm, mm, mm." (laughs) I'm always like that to you. I'm like. But it doesn't even bother me. It's just I'm just like, damn, I, I got nothing to give back <laughs> right now. When was uh, the last time I did that? But that's yin and yang, baby. No, I was thinking more on prep. I really had to like dig to think of something that was like, <laughs> it's not even a pet peeve. It was just something I noticed. But yeah, that's it. The next question for on mine is, uh, who gets more jealous? It's tough. <laughs> Pretty tough, but. <laughs> I think maybe you. I don't know. Yeah, we both do in our own ways. We both are just like pretty protective of each other. Yeah. I think one thing I do now, we're so new to like navigating like lots of followers and dating somebody who has a lot of followers. So like the tension that comes along with it. Yeah. And like one thing with Kayla, I told her was like, I just, uh, if I comment on like all her stuff, but I'll comment and I'm out. I don't read anything. I don't even, cause I know I can find, there's any, any given day, I can find something that will make me, like, upset or jealous, mm-hmm. so I just, like, avoid it. I know she's into me, and me only, so I just, like, ignore the rest. I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just let me screenshot, like, this bitch. <laughs> okay, don't, like, call me out like that. No, no. Girls can be comical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, weird. It's... Some people just lack respect, and I mm-hmm. get it. Like, it's, it's, you literally don't even know him. Sure, comment on his shit. Shoot your shot, girl. Funny I should be laughing, but yeah, like, I yeah. probably am the more jealous woman. I don't know. I'm just, I've always been a little bit. <laughs> Jeff said, Kay's honest opinion of the flavor saver. Is that, is that your mustache. mustache? Yeah. Flavor saver. I love your mustache. I've loved it from the beginning. He had a mustache back in 2020. Yeah. And I was like, that's hot. I love the mustache, and... He likes it, so if he likes it, he's gonna rock it. Yeah. Kaylin tells me, just do whatever I want, so it's like, she'll like me no matter what, so she says. Yeah, Yeah, I like it, and I think it just kind of like makes you you. What was the hardest part? What was, next question was, what was the hardest part about starting a fitness Instagram? I started mine back in like 2018, I think, and I would just always start and stop, start and stop, like, I just never had like enough momentum and like I just felt like why am I even doing this and I am glad that it took me a long long time to actually be consistent and actually gain a following because like back then I didn't really know what I was doing as much as I do now and I still have so much to learn but I just feel a lot more confident in who I am and how I present myself. The hardest part was just gaining the momentum and feeling like you know. Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the hardest part, I guess at first when I did it, I didn't, at the time, I didn't realize it was possible for like anybody to get really big. So it wasn't like this big business decision of mine or something. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel like there was any, nothing at stake really. I just did it because it was fun. Um, the only thing I struggled with in the beginning was a lot of my childhood friends aren't into like the, the fitness stuff. So posting it, like, I would get shit for it. Old friends or old acquaintances would, like, say something. Like, why are you... What are you doing? So that was weird and uncomfortable. It made me feel, like, pretty insecure. But I enjoyed, like, tracking and logging my progress. And it got more and more comfortable over time. And then it sucks because a lot of the people getting into it now maybe are going through, like, similar things. And it's weird because when you start, it's weird. And then you make it and they ask, like, how you did it. Um, like, where now everybody just gets, like, this is what I'm doing. And it's it's obviously it's work. So they're like, oh, good for you. Yeah. That was the hard part. Now it's just more or less trying to navigate the business end of things. That was the hardest part starting was just getting over the fact that people might judge me. Mm-hmm. I just don't really care anymore. So. Yeah. Okay, that concludes the Q&A today, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we have a lot more stuff planned coming up. We're moving. We're going to vlog our like an, our entire trip down to Austin. Um, so that will be exciting. And then um, once we live 
like actually live together we'll be pumping out more and more and more stuff together so mm -hmm. um but thanks for watching this one guys i appreciate it uh please like subscribe maybe leave a little comment and if you're feeling extra um generous maybe click that little bell to keep you notified when i post but thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one love you bye